If J, K and N are consecutive integers such that zero is less than J is less than K is less than N, and the units one digit of the product J, N is nine, what is the units digit of K? Tell us the one digit of the product J, N is nine. That means we can write an equation J, N is equal to blank space nine. Nine's got to be at the end. The one digit is always at the end. But... And also tell us we're here consecutive integers. Now, what are consecutive integers? 4, 5, and 6, they're consecutive integers. They keep going up by 1, so 4, 5, 6, 7 are consecutive integers. Now, 5 is equal to 4 plus 1. 6 is equal to 4 plus 2. So, K is going to equal J plus 1, and N is going to equal J plus 2. So, if N is equal to J plus 2, and we can replace it and put j plus 2 instead of n. So we've got j times j plus 2 is equal to blank space 9. So when you've got j times j plus 2, you can think of that as a number times a number that's 2 more than that number. So now we've got to think about multiplying a number times a number 2 more than that, so that way the result gives us 9 at the end. Well, it's 9 times 11, because if you look at the units digit of 9 to 9, it's 9, which is the first time that happens. Now, I have to do 10 different multiplications until that happens, so you might wonder, is there an easier way? There is. I'll show that to you in a bit. But let's finish the problem first. It says, what is the units digit of K? Okay, what's the units digit of K? Well, if you look at the 9 here, it tells us J must be 9, right? Match up with the equation we had over there. And then, that means that K is just going to be 10. Why? Because K is always J plus 1. So K is 10. But be real careful when you read the question. It says, what is the units digit of k? So because it asks for the units digit, i got to go down here and only go for the zero. So that's our answer, zero. But let me answer the question of how you would have done this quicker than having to write out these ten different multiplications. So it tells us we want the units digit to be 9. Okay. Now, that means we've got to need a 1 here, and a 9 there, or a 3 here, and a 3 here. But why is that? Well, if you're trying to get a 1's digit of 9, the only things that matter in your multiplication are the 1's digit. The tens digit are only going to give you contribution to your tens, not to your ones. So, it's either 1 times 9 or 3 times 3. Told us we're dealing with integers, so we can't use something like 2 and 4.5. But you know what? It can't be 3 and 3. You're never going to get two numbers that when you multiply them together are two apart. In other words, one number is too bigger than the other one if they both end in 3. That'll never happen. They're either going to be the same number, something like 13 and 13, or they're going to be 10 apart, 20 apart, or something like that. But they're not going to be 2 apart. But then when you start thinking about numbers that are 2 apart, that end in a 1 and end in a 9, that's fucking impossible. Because let's say you put maybe a 1 here and a 1 there, and you get 11 and 19, those are 8 apart. That certainly doesn't fucking work. And it won't work no matter what numbers you put in here. It might be 18 apart or something like that. But what does work is putting the 9 here and the 1 here. And we already knew that because 9 times 11 gives us 99. And 9 and 11 are 2 apart. But remember, that just means J is equal to 9. So K is still 10, which means the units digit is 0.